All right, I'm here in Kissimmee, Florida, and there's some bees at the top of this uh, wall where it meets the roof line, that awning. And uh, you see where they're going in and out. And I'm about to peel it back and uh, see exactly what we have going on here. All right, so I peeled back this uh, siding as uh, gently as I could, you know, because all this stuff kind of overlaps, so you got to be careful and and just peel it back and kind of hold, have it uh, be held in place. So uh, what the situation is is this: that uh, you know, you can see these bees right here on the surface of these two uh, two by fours. And I thought, okay, they're just going to be right behind the 2 by 4s Well, they are, but you can see this uh, plywood covering on both sides. And they're inside. They're inside those two pieces of plywood on both sides. So, uh, I'm not going to do any kind of force abscond. I don't believe in doing that crap unless it's an emergency. So I'm going to cut into that wood and uh, get right to them directly. All right, let me cut and uh, expose them and I'll show you all what they look like. All right, so here's the wall plate that came off that I sawed out, this uh, square. And uh, that's what was stuck to it. Girls are being calm and collected, even though their house, uh, part of their house just came down. So uh, there's some pollen, a little bit of brood, nectar storage. So uh, let's go up here and take a look. So what I did first is I used the big saw, you know, the circular saw to cut uh, just general deep lines. Uh, and then I use the multi-tool to uh, do all the rest of the detail. Now, it's really hard getting a power saw in here, you know, a, a circular saw, but so I could only uh, do so much cutting. But I got it done good enough to where, uh, you know, a lot of the hard work was done and then just come behind it with this multi-tool that actually did pretty good through this plywood. You know, you can see that's, what, half-inch plywood right here that I had to cut through. All right, so take a look. I'll just stop blabbing and uh, let's gaze at this for a minute. Tell you what, let me pause it and I'm gonna put my light on. All right, that's much better. Let me get a good focus. Yep, folks, just breathtaking. So what it looks like is I'm going to have to get the vacuum cleaner out on this one because it's, it's hard to, you know, it's an awkward uh, spot. I can't really climb in this thing, you know. I wish I could, but there's just not enough room and I don't trust that ceiling. You know, I'll be falling through somebody's ceiling and we don't need that happening, do we? Uh, so in my big fear with this is, you know, it's no problem getting these bees right here out of here. I saw that it extended a little bit past my cut, and I don't know how far yet. So that's gonna be the big question on this one, and plus they can run back there, and uh, I guarantee you Honey Bee Gone's gonna come into play on this one, but see, I couldn't, see, I wish I would've sprayed back in there. Maybe, what I probably need to do is vacuum those bees in the back, 
and then spray honeybee gone further back in that uh, void so they can't run back there because that would I'm telling you that would be a big big nightmare right now if, if the bees ran real far back in between all that plywood we just don't need so that at first happening. I thought I was so, going to go with a top bar removal because uh, you know, there's customers I have that are interested in top bar uh, nukes but um, if you look up here I just vacuumed a lot of bees off of this comb and everything's going to be pretty square or rectangle. So I'm opting for a Langstroth today because I just don't feel like uh, trying to cut these things into triangles today for a top bar removal. It's just my uh, gut feeling right now. I think I'm going to need more of a square slash rectangle type deal going on here today all right check out uh, this big piece of comb I pulled out at one time and um, I got lucky on this one because it's not exposed as far back there some of it behind that plywood steel that I couldn't reach and cut so uh, that was the front part of it and that was what was all the way in the back so uh, this removal could get rather tricky So I'm opting for uh, Langstroth today because, uh, you know, like I said earlier, the more square pieces I need. Alright, let me slice this one up and put it in some frames. Alright, just to give you all an idea of how far this extends. Now I've been pulling long sections out of it. I've been getting kind of lucky. But see, this plywood's right here, and I can't really climb in there and cut all that. I mean, this structure's too narrow and too fragile for me to be climbing in there. So, look how far it goes back. Uh, I could have some trouble on my hands unless that comb stays together as I pull it out, which it somewhat has been. I've been getting lucky. But uh, I still don't know the full extent of it. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's hope I can manipulate that, folks, without having to go back further in there with cutting tools and climbing. I just, man, man, man. That can be a big deal. Here's the game plan. I vacuumed a lot of bees from back in there, and there is some comb left, but guess what? Right now comes out the honeybee gone. That's their theme song. Yeah, uh, anyway, um, so yeah, that's coming out, and I'm going to drive all the rest of the bees out of there with honeybee gone. And I could probably vacuum a few more, but guess what? Out comes my best friend in doing removals, especially in situations like this, the honey be gone. I don't think Scott's going to be hiring me to do jingles anytime soon, though. All right, so watch this. The label's worn off. I've been using it so much. This is going to be a mass exodus. You know, I know it's not a lot, a lot of bees back there, but it's enough to where I probably shouldn't even technically be using honeybee gone, but I'm in a bind, folks. I'm in a bind. Actually, let me get it on a more narrow stream yeah I'm getting it on a more narrow stream so I can uh, get further back first I'm gonna honeybee gone that booty back I'm gonna evacuate that booty with honeybee 
Here we go. I'm gonna do the uh, reunited section here of the of the show. I think maybe the lighting will be better like this. Yeah, I think that looks better. All right, I'm gonna dump them in. So watch out. see her in here so I'm just gonna have to dump them in for now and maybe find her later on some of the calm. Look at that up there. So I need to go up there and look for the queen right now. See, they're all swarming back up there, a lot of them, but they won't land because of the honey be gone. I should probably be up there watching for the queen instead of doing what I'm doing, filming, but this is just too cool to pass up. See, I put the hive up there with their comb in it and everything, and a lot of the bees I dumped in. And they, they can't land in their former spot. Honey be gone's blocking them out. So, look at I mean, it's pretty much a swarm right here in front of the, uh, the house. And I put some swarm commander on the entrance and a little bit on top of the hive in case the queen's not in there. And who knows where she is right now, but you watch. I'm going to find her. I am going to find that queen. You're thinking, yeah, right, at this point, but uh, I'm going to find the queen. She's not going anywhere. So what I need to do real quick also is put some more of that comb in some of the frames and put it in here so they'll have more of a viable home to go into rather than this you know the box being so open but there's a lot happening at one time and i'm sitting here blabbing and filming i know but uh so look at this no more bees in there no more I mean, there's a couple of stragglers that are in there just having a hard time, but all of the bees are either right here in this hive or flying right here and landing on this building. So let me sort this out, and if I find the queen, I'll turn the video back on for you. So they're all crowded up here on the top of the roof. I climbed up here, and uh, I'm about to look for the queen, but my storage on this phone's about full, so... When I find her and put her in my clip, I'll let you know. So I was grabbing handfuls of all those bees that were clustered underneath. 
And on my hand, I saw Miss Queen. A Miss Queen. <laughs> I'm just in a good mood, folks, because uh, this was almost a big disaster, this removal. So there's a little kid here who let me borrow his SD card. You'd think I'd have bought an SD card before now or something like that, but check out the Queen. Uh, uh, queen. Yeah, Queen. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm sure I lost some subscribers with all that going on here. But uh, it's too bad. I'm in a good mood with this queen being captured. And I'm in a real good mood about that. How about if I just have this video like 15, 20 minutes of this queen running around in here? That'd be sweet. Maybe 30 minutes. Would that be enough? Nah, instead I'm going to put her up there and I'm going to insert her in a frame and put her in the hive right now. <clears throat> Alright, it's about to rain I think. I hear some thunder, and uh, I got these bees under control just in time, you know, using the uh, smoker to uh, coax them off the side and rim and all that, and uh, you know, there's a few still flying around, of course, but for the most part, uh, I, I uh, <laughs> um, got them under control just in the nick of time, so uh, let's go take a look up here. Now there's a little bit of comb still back there that you know needs to be cleaned up, but there's really no bees, okay? I mean, look at look at that uh, lumber, you know, that was in it was encased in all that uh, plywood going all the way back. And they were just going to keep going back, keep going back, and it would have been a big disaster. So, um, anyway, I'll deal with that honeycomb, and, uh, but I'm just showing you the bee situation. You know, I uh, sprayed honeybee gone all along here where they were trying to land. Remember, they were up on the roof. I was looking for the queen up there. She wasn't up there, but they were landing up there. And, uh, you know, because that high entrance was gone, so they were orienting up there. And then, of course, I found the queen bundled up, hanging off the front of the hive. So, uh, man, I was kind of getting concerned about this one, but um, it's, it, it seems like it's turning out okay. And I have the, the queen rubber banded into a frame uh, right in the middle and toward the front entrance so to better attract all the other bees that are flying around. Yeah, I'm kind of proud of this one. You know, it wasn't perfect, you know, um, but uh, it could have been a lot worse. And Some bees were actually getting into their house and stuff like that, you know. Um, I don't know. It was just, uh, it got really hairy, folks, but uh, <laughs> I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad we got it done. All right, so I cleaned it up as good as I could reach back there, folks. <laughs> It's just, it's, my arm's not five feet long. That's as good as I can get it. And uh, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been back there 10 feet, but. Uh, 
So anyway, I scraped it as good as I could, as far as I could reach. All right. Of course, I didn't open it up on this side. I can't really uh, fit in there, and um, it's just not really feasible to crawl up in there and start cutting and pulling stuff out. And can you imagine trying to crawl up in here, in and out, in and out, multiple times? Uh-uh. So this was a rough removal, and thank God it only went back as far as it did. And uh, they've settled down considerably. There's only a few of them flying around. And uh, thanks to Honey Bee Gone, you know, removals like this are uh, able to be a possibility. And it's all natural, you know, it's not like you're poisoning them, it just drives them out of an area. It's uh, almond oil based, I don't know what the real formula is, but uh, wish I did. <laughs> so uh, I'll wait here till dark and uh, close these ladies up and be on my way. Okay, it's pretty much nightfall and uh, I'm about to close up this wheel. There's just a couple of stragglers on the outside, but uh, that's all good. It's no big deal. A little bit of smoke will take care of them. And uh, No more bees. I'm up early doing this release. Look, like there's a few bees that were uh, on the outside of it on the way home. So here we go. They're gonna be chomping at the bit to get out. Well, maybe not. A little bit dormant. <laughs> 